Hello everyone and welcome. I am the part-time economist and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up LibreOffice Writer to create properly formatted APA style research papers. If you're a student like me, you write a ton of papers and you don't want to have to go through every single time make the same changes and you might not even know what changes you need to make from the LibreOffice defaults to make your paper APA compliant. So I will be showing you all of that in today's video. We're specifically talking about formatting. So fonts, hanging indents, the header at the top of your page. We are not talking about punctuation, grammar, citations, anything like that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to tell you the requirement for APA style, and then I'll show you how to implement that in LibreOffice so that as things change, if APA goes from a half inch indent to a 0.75 inch indent, you'll be able to make those changes in the future. So hopefully this video will stand the test of time. That being said, the first things that I'm going to share with you are things that I strongly recommend you do before you start the paper. First off, you need to use standard sized paper with APA and you need one inch margins all around. So let me go ahead and show you how to set that up. We're going to go to format. We are going to go to page style and we're going to select the format of letter. Now by default, LibreOffice will set this to the letter format. If you've been doing postcard labels or something else, you might have set it differently. All you have to do is go back down here to letter. Width 8.5 by 11 inches. All of those are good. What we do need to change is the margin defaults. So these all need to be one inch. We're going to go ahead and click OK, and you can see that what that does, it condenses the writing space that we have available. The key point here, that means that your paragraphs, they stretch longer. This is why I recommend you do this at the beginning, because if you write a six page essay, then you condense your margins, you're going to end up with a seven page essay, and you're going to have to go back and cut stuff out. So. I recommend setting your margins at the very beginning so that you have a more accurate estimate of how much you have left to write. Also, paragraph spacing needs to be double spaced. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the styles menu and we're going to click manage styles. Now, obviously I already have this opened on the right hand side and what we're going to do for default paragraph style, we're going to right click we're going to edit the style. It'll take just a minute to pop up and we're going to go to indents and spacing. What we want for this is we want double spacing and then we don't want any additional space above or below the paragraph. So let's go ahead and let's save that. Now when it comes to formatting your header. This is a huge relief because in the newest version of APA, you no longer need to have the running head and then the abbreviated title of your paper. If you're a student, if you're not a student, you're doing it for professional research. There's other considerations, but then again, this video might not be for you. So if you are a student, APA, you no longer need the running head, but you do need the page number. So I'm going to show you how to insert that. Let's go to insert. Let's go to header and footer. We will use a header and the default page style and nothing changes. You didn't do anything wrong. All you have to do is come up to the top of the page, click in this white box and you will get the header menu. You can click the drop down and you want to insert the page number. We're getting close, but we're not exactly where we need to be. What we need to do now is we need to move this over to the right hand side of the page. Um, I would resist the urge to just click a line right. We actually want to set this as a style so that it repeats every time we do this. So we're going to go over to headers. We're going to expand this box. We are just going to double click header right and then that is going to move it to the right of the page. Now there's one sneaky little thing that you might miss with your headers and that is when it comes to font. 
APA, the most recent iteration, does not tell us we have to use a specific font. It says the font needs to be accessible and consistent. So it gives a couple recommendations. One of the most popular is Times New Roman 12 point. If your instructor wants you to use a different font, of course, go for that. But if there's no specific guidance given, Times New Roman 12 isn't a bad place to start. So where this comes into play with headers is sometimes they are set up to use a different font. So we're going to right click on header. We are going to edit the style and we want to make sure under the font tab that we are on Times New Roman 12. We will go ahead and save that. And then another thing with fonts, we want to change the entire paper to use the same font. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back up here to the tools menu. We're going to go to options and you'll see a bunch of different programs on the left hand side. We want to expand LibreOffice Writer. We want to go to Basic Fonts Western, and we want to change all of these to Times New Roman and make it 12 point. By default, it has some LibreOffice font um, as your basic. Again, it's not that that's necessarily wrong, but we want it to all be the same and consistent. And again, Times New Roman 12 point helps give us that consistency. While we are on this page, another thing that we need to keep in mind is that our indentations for APA should be half an inch. So what we're going to do, we are going to set under the general tab, we're going to set our measurement unit to inch and put our tab stops at 0.5. For whatever reason, I think the default is 0.49. Is your professor going to notice a hundredth of an inch difference? Probably not, but we want to make sure we're doing everything right. So good there. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Let's just see where we are. So we've got our margins. We've got our paragraph spacing. We have the header. Font is good. OK, so when you're writing a lengthy paper, you're going to have subdivisions in that paper. Main topic one, main topic two, maybe even a subtopic. So in APA, there's tons of different heading levels. However, the two that you're going to use most frequently, unless you're writing a book or a novel, are going to be heading one and heading two. So I'm going to show you how to set up both of those. So in order to create a heading one, what you're going to want to do is select your text, go to this drop down and click on heading one. Now what you'll notice is that this gives us a font that is clearly not Times New Roman 12. So we need to fix that. We're going to right click again on our styles menu. We will edit that style and we're just going to change this to times. Let's see here. TI. M E times new Roman and we're going to set that to 12. The style does not need to be bold italic, just normal bold. And we also want to make that alignment. We want to go to center for heading one and then indents and spacing. We don't want any additional spacing here. So we're going to set this to zero. We're going to set that to zero and I don't know that it makes a difference, but we're going to click there as well. And now you will see that we have it exactly what we want for heading one. Heading two is very similar. Again, these are the only ones I'm going to go over. If you need heading three, four, five, you're kind of in a specialized scenario. Um, so you can look up the documentation for that and just make the changes in the same manner. But heading two is kind of a common one. So we'll go ahead and cover that for you. We are going to go to heading two. The only change that we need to make here is again, let's get rid of all this extra spacing because we do not need that. Let's go to our alignment. We do want to be aligned left. And then for the font, we want Times New Roman bold and the default is 16 points. We want it to be on 12 points. We can click OK and there heading one, heading two are taken care of. OK, so the last thing I want to discuss is hanging indentation. This is what you're going to use for your references section. And when you double click on the default hanging indent style, it's going to look right to you, but it's not because in reality you can see here that the second and third lines, they are indented, but that first line isn't aligned all the way to the left, which it should be. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here to the hanging indent style tab. We will right click. 
edit the style. And there's really no way of us moving just the bottom two lines, so we kind of have to do things backwards. We have to move the entire paragraph to the right half an inch, and then we basically come back and we back out the first line by half an inch. So if that sounds complicated, don't worry about it. The only thing you need to know is that before text should be half an inch. Your first line should be negative half an inch. We're going to go ahead and click OK, and now that is how it should look, right? So the top line all the way to the left, everything else is half inch indented. Now, you have spent five to ten minutes getting this set up. Here's the problem. This is only going to apply to this specific LibreOffice Writer document. If you want to save these changes so that in the future when you're writing a research paper, you don't have to do them over and over and over again, you need to save this as a template so that you can import it into future LibreOffice documents. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing, we're going to come to the top of the page. We're going to go to File. From the File tab, we will go to Save As. You actually want to click on your drop-down menu. And we want to select ODF Document Template. I'm going to save this as APA Template and just go ahead and click Save. Okay, so you have saved your template. Let's suppose you're ready to write your next research project. Let's just go ahead and start writing here. This is my project. And we'll go with Heading 1. And OK, so basically that's our project. We're going to change this to the Heading 1 style. And what you're going to see is that nothing happens. It should be centered, right? Um, the margins are clearly not one inch. So what we need to do is we need to import that template. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to go over to the Styles menu. We're going to click on Style Actions. We are going to load styles from a template. Now, the key thing here is to make sure that you check everything, because if you don't check everything, you're going to load not the styles, right? So if we don't load the page styles, we're not going to adjust our margin. If we don't adjust the paragraph and character, if we don't click overwrite, again, that's not going to pull in those new styles. So short of the story, just make sure you click everything, and then we want to go to From File. When we are on the Desktop tab, you're not going to see your template because it's looking for a text document. What we actually want to look for is the ODF Text Document Template. So this top one here, go ahead and click that. Now we see the APA template. We can go ahead and open that template, and now you can see just by doing that, it automatically does everything for us. So we're double spacing. Heading 1 is where it needs to be. If we added in a Heading 2, you would see that's where it needs to be. You can already see the header where it needs to be. So basically, you set up your template once, and then in the future, you just have to do that little 15-second step to pull in the template. So I hope that video saves you some time. I love using LibreOffice because it's a free alternative to Microsoft Office Word. Sometimes, because it's not as popular, there's not a ton of tutorials, so that's why I made this tutorial here for you today. I am not an APA master expert, so if there's something I missed, if there's some other feature that you need, be sure to leave it in the comments, and I'll do my best to help out where I can. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.